guys' view with the change in love. And um, it's been a while since I video blogged. My last uh, V blog was about my Arizona trip to Tucson and um, um, between then and now it's been a lot of tra uh, a lot of traveling, a lot of transitioning, um, a lot of op opportunities of growth have developed for me. And um, I'm just recently coming back from my 27th annual family reunion in which we travel various different places, um, mainly um, camping and um, being outdoors. And it's about three to four days. And it's just all my family from <laughs> all over the place who uh, can make it. And it's those of the Emeline and Semisi descendants. Um, and I kind of just wanted to take this time to express myself on the roles of leadership and how it, how it forms through you by going back to your roots. And, um, you know, a lot of these things that I am currently into right now, um, they would not have came to mind or sparked something within me if it had not come from the past or something that had been passed down to me such as traits, behavior patterns, um, habits, um, looks, um, um, personality, uh, characteristics, um, everything. And this was that redefining moment of what type of leader I would want to become or that I am still in the process of becoming. Um, my family is very dear to me um, because I understand that all of these endless possibilities, um, all of the potential in the world that I have, all these talents, all these things that I was blessed with was... Um, you know, was something that was passed on to me. Something that um, I I can't even explain it. I I feel just so blessed to come from a family, the the family that I do come from. I feel so blessed to be made up of these um, genetics and of these strong. Um, forward and resilient um, spirits of people that continue to dwell. Um, even my loved ones who have passed, you can still see uh, a lot of their spirit. You can still feel their spirit within um, my generation and, and their kids' kids, um, their grandkids. Uh, you know, just different forms of love that um, cannot be taught. They have to be experienced. And I've learned so much about myself and I've learned so much about my family over the weekend. I've gotten a chance to connect with people that I've never connected with in all the 27 years that I've been going to these reunions and all of our family gatherings and functions that we have. We just never get that in a personal time to just really talk about our lives and our experiences and our goals and that felt so good to me because I've always feel misunderstood and this was a conversation that I was having with one, one of my cousins about how misunderstood we are and um, even though we may come off um, aggressive or you know we may come off um, a certain type of way to people um, it's it's always our intentions to be very loving and very caring and forgiving of others it's something that my great great grandmother had has taught us it's my great grandmother um, it's my dad's yeah <laughs> anyways but it's something that she has continuously and um just has rooted within us and it can it just it amazes me at, at how long and how much growth there has been in our family and her words still live on to this day and we still remember her and my my, my great grandfather Samisi and everything that we do and we still try to um, 
stick to that foundation where we all came from and how we all even developed and formed these great bonds and relationships within our families. Um, we have opened ourselves to each other's talents, to our ambitions, to um, our hidden potential. And um, I couldn't have been more blessed because everything that I'm learning about myself right now has um, was planted from at, at this very place. And um, I just want to make sure that I cover everything in this video because this is probably the most important video and um, the most important message that I would have to say to the people who know me, to my friends and my family and Change and Love supporters is that um, I didn't really begin to start loving myself until I realized the love that my family has always had for me. Um, and this could be current, this could be from past, present, and the future. Um, it's, it's a love that's so divine and um, so wonderful and so very beautiful that it just continues to grow within me and it, it continues to cultivate my talent and it, it continues to challenge me to grow in, um, in different mysterious ways and I could not be more thankful um, to be exposed to this opportunity to grow within my own leadership skills, to to build my own self confidence, and to be able to um, create relationships and bonds with 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 people who can genuinely love you and receive you with open arms, um, with and loving with no condition, basically. Um, I, I and I want to thank like I really want to thank my, my committee. For uh, this year's um, organizing and planning of the family reunion, and I want to thank the previous committees, and especially to the second generation family members that have taught us so much about what it really means to um, be a family and to be more unified. And um, it's 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 a blessing. It's a blessing. Um, I am humbled by the experience. Um, it. It's uh, at the time I I thought that I was overwhelmed by the responsibility, but now that I've had I've had this time to um, really really embrace these feelings and kind of go through the motion of what has happened and and this experience that has occurred within the last few days of my life, um, I can now understand that that overwhelming feeling that that it was. A sensation of gratitude and um, being grounded, um, and it, it, it it's a reminder. It definitely checks you. You know, you check yourself in the process, and you have your family there who have nothing but good intentions for you, who check you as well. You know, and sometimes um, it takes uh, it takes a certain type of person in a in the specific position to really get through to you something that was not going to, was not coming through from anybody else. It had to take, uh, it takes special people to put you in place and put you in line and, and tell you, go have milk tonu. And, um, ex excuse, um, this is the Tongan in me to the non, um, Tongan supporters. Um, it's just like what's, what's right and what is and what is just. And it's something that I will forever be grateful for. And I, um, just in, in this extreme state of gratitude right now. Um, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm just getting out of the shower. I've unpacked everything and I'm catching up with my updates on our pictures for those who didn't attend this year. And uh, I'm just so blessed and I'm so fortunate. And um, I, just, I just hope and pray that I can continue to build this courage and this confidence and... Um, just develop more into the special things about me. And these special things are um, is so special that it's been around in my family for so long. And I'm just now being exposed to it. And I'm just now seeing, seeing it for what it really is and seeing how reflective um, it is to have this greatness that lies within you. And it's greatness that has that has paved the way for me. And um, it's amazing to say that they're my family. And um, 
I love them. I love everyone who isn't even blood related that I I claim as my family. I love my friends who became family. I love strangers that I can be able to treat to um, treat like family because of how my family treats me. Um, you know, it's just the it just creates this a uh, whole entire perspective for for you to look at life in a different way and just embrace everything and and grow through grow through these challenges. Um, and I'm already making this extremely long, but um, thank you for watching this video and um, change and love that.